What's up guys and welcome back to Pokemon Glazed. I don't like the music here. It's the Pokemon Center music and it kind of confuses me because we're in a town, not a Pokemon Center. But anyway, last time we took on the 7th gym leader, Brian, which is apparently an anagram for brain. And I don't have a brain for not noticing that, but we got this, the Psyche Badge or Psych Badge, however you want to say it. And there were a lot of dudes in the last one because dude, you totally got to dude it up if you want to be a dude, dude. You know what I'm saying, dude? Uh, yeah, anyway, today we're doing the Ninja Hideout, which is actually here in the souvenir shop. It seems like the members of Mahogany Town, or I guess the residents of Mahogany, have not learned their lesson from Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, or I guess just second generation. And uh, they still have a hideout in the basement of their souvenir shop, which, I mean, I don't think it used to be a souvenir shop. It used to be some kind of other shop, but now uh, they have a... You know, another hideout. It's still Rocket Hideout, but there's Team Fusion Grunts in here, so let's take them all on today. Your intrusion is unwelcome. All right, then. Well, you can see this, that they've kind of spruced this place up, and by spruce, I mean I just they just kind of changed their theme to be more like Team Fusion, because they're a completely different team. They're not Rocket anymore, so they don't have Persian statues that beep and make Rocket Grunts show up. Instead, they have these things. I don't really know what they are. They also have holes in the ground, and rocks everywhere i don't really know man this place looks a little bit more beat up than it used to be though yet somehow they installed locked doors and how did a kid get in here i just kind of walked past all your grunts you know there were a couple of them chilling out inside the store making things a little bit suspicious you know if i go to the taco bell and i see a bunch of thugs standing around i'm gonna think something's going down at that taco bell but apparently these people don't notice anything they just kind of see a souvenir shop with a bunch of armed thugs standing around it, and no one seems to care. So, I mean, they just, they have their whole hideout down here, and no one seems to ever notice. I can't wait to see you lose. Well, can't wait to see me win, you mean, because I'm about to. Goodbye, Mammo Swine. It was nice knowing you, buddy. All right, we got to use some other guys, though, because Laser Gator has now become our go-to guy. So let's go for some Azula action. I think this is, yep, Glaceon. So we can at least take that out with a nice flamethrower or two. Don't know why that did such a little damage, but yeah, let's switch up uh, the party a little bit. Laser Gator has been leading our charge for quite a while now. I know we kind of have Valor sitting, chilling in the background, or in the bottom of the party, but he's probably going to stay that way for a little bit. By the way, uh, again, I'm still not at home because I'm in the process of kind of choosing what the next step is. As I've mentioned in a couple of videos before, I, I kind of consider myself a nomad. I don't like to stay in the same place for very long, which is why... When I went to Puerto Rico during the uh, Christmas break, I stayed there for like three months and it was kind of crazy and I kept talking about the fact that I was there. And uh, you know, at least here I have my laptop. I got a nice new laptop and I can make videos on it. I think I could pretty much make whatever I can make back at home here. So at least, you know, hopefully we're not missing out on too many videos. I haven't been uploading daily, which I aim for, but I promise that once things settle down, I'm gonna dedicate, make a little schedule of some sort and there will be daily videos at least. And uh, I, I don't know, I have a lot of plans basically, so there will be a lot of exciting stuff starting up next month, uh, but first we gotta get through Glazed, and we really don't have that much left in this game, so uh, once that is done with, I mean, I've kind of, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you know, I'm gonna be totally honest here, I've been stalling it out a little bit, just because I wanna make sure that when those new projects start, that they can be uploaded daily and I don't miss out on days or, you know, I don't know, I just want it to actually be consistent once those that new stuff starts up, so... I've been trying to finish up Glazed, and uh, I've been a little lazy at the same time. I'm kind of delaying it a little bit because I want some time to build up uh, so that those things can be daily and, and be consistent and whatnot. So, hope you guys have some patience here. Uh, but yeah, good stuff is coming, hopefully. Well, you know, it'll be something. I don't want to spoil anything, actually. But I think you guys will enjoy what is coming up in the future. Um, I also wanted to thank you all so much because... Uh, I uploaded that battle with Shady, and I know I don't do Wi-Fi very often, but you guys seem to really enjoy them, so that will, once again, I don't know, I'm gonna do some more eventually, it's not my thing, but I know you guys really like them, so thank you for so much for all the support on that, and on Glazed as well, it's been pretty crazy, um, I usually don't really, like, I don't know, in the past few months, I haven't really been looking at, uh, much of the channel growth and whatnot, but it is still pretty awesome, so thank you guys for continuing all that, and continuing to watch Pokemon Glazed, even though we've been in the post game now and we've been in this game for a really long time, uh, it's been really awesome. So yeah, hope you guys are still enjoying this because I still really love this game. I don't know. I would, I keep saying like, uh, 
you know the longer i play a hack the the less it kind of gets on me but it still keeps maintaining things super nice and fresh like even though we're in an area that was in the original Johto region, this game continues to surprise me with, like, changing it up. Like, this doesn't look exactly like the one did in, you know, in the second generation games. So, they keep switching it up, they keep changing things, and, like, Team Fusion has taken over Rocket's Lab now, which is pretty crazy. Um, the main, or the, the first... I just lost my trail of thought, man. This happens way too often, I'm sorry, but, uh... I brought up the, the whole moving thing because I'm actually using a, a microphone right now that I'm borrowing, so it might sound different. This is actually the one that I used to use a really long time ago, so it's kind of taking me down a trip down memory lane a little bit. Um, this was like the first... I'm using the Yeti right now, which I'm sure a lot of you that make videos are familiar with, because it's kind of the one that a lot of people seem to purchase as their first microphone, and it was kind of the same thing for me, so it's kind of taking me down memory lane a little bit, kinda, kinda, kinda. Did I say kinda enough times? Probably not, dude. Right, dude? But, um, yeah, I feel like uh, the old days when this happened. I, I talk about it like it was a really long time ago. I mean, it actually was, maybe like a year and a half ago. And then I started experimenting with other mics and stuff. I don't really know why. I mean, this one was totally fine, but who knows, man? Just kind of had a little deja vu there. Or not deja vu, but, you know, whatever I was saying earlier. Trip down memory lane. We'll just call it that for now. Umbreon and Espeon coming out. They're fine. We got this. Yeah, good job, Azula. Now level 58. So uh, we're on our way to level... Everyone being level 60, basically. G is one level off. I think Simba's 61. So he's he's gone above and beyond that. You know, to infinity and beyond, Buzz Lightyear would say. But this is Simba. Totally different Disney character. Ooh, it's part of Regina's main guard. Yo, is that Bryce sitting over there? Price? The Price is right, Mr. Ice-type gym leader old man. Is he working with Team Fusion on some shady stuff? I don't know. But we'll find out, I guess. So we got Electivire and Electivire. Thankfully, you know, I have Gunther out here to take these guys out. JK, he's actually over here. So we're going to take him out. Um, and I'm actually going to bring out... Well, I guess it's not even necessary. Um, I can just overheat both of them. And I guess I'll aerial ace you. Because why not? Goodbye. Never mind. Oh, man. All right. I forget overheat lowers your uh, special attack every time. So, I don't know. Probably should have just... Gone for the Earthquake, swapped out to Valor. Wait, so your name is P.S., right? Pius? P.S.? I don't really know. What are you even doing here? I do not believe in Team Fusion's goals. That is all. Moe's, I'm extremely grateful you came to help. Here, introductions are in order. This man is Pius. He's evil. What are you... What are, No, get away from this guy. He kidnapped freaking Jasmine, the gym leader, and was doing crazy things to her in a jail cell. I don't know if you know, J Henry, but this guy is not what he claims to be. He's an evil doer. He's an evil man. We must kill him and then sell his body parts on the internet. That's pretty messed up. Maybe just his hair. We'll just shave him and sell his hair. You may not approve of my methods, but I assure you we have a common enemy today. I expect you to continue acting as my acquaintance. Uh, sure. So yeah, I guess he agrees that, you know, he, we don't really have the same mentality here, but we're agreeing to disagree so we can battle Regina. Oh, my cowardly son decided to show up. You have no right to order me to do anything. Pretty sure this lady was French and not whatever Pius' accent is, so... We'll just go back to Russian. You are no longer part of this family. As I far as I care, you are dead. So expect you and your friends to stay out of the way. By the way, who is that handsome man? Oh, what? Uh, alright, I guess she finds Pius attractive. Okay, Regina, I don't know if you remember what he looks like, but come on. Really? You can do better than that, girl. Never mind that. Bryce, I know you captured the Thunder Orb, but when you are still with Team Rocket, you have it stored here, don't you? Give it to me. Yes, ma'am. All right, Bryce. You know, you could you could try a little bit to go against Regina, I guess. Price might be evil in this game. Who really knows? He's an evil old man. I retrieved the orb from computer storage. It'll be recovered in the data circle. Ooh, yes, yes, finally, the orb is mine at last. She got the thunder orb, I don't know what that does, but scary things, oh no, so oh, sorry, but there's no time to start our customary battle. I've got a date at the bell tower, we're done here, team fusion, yeah, drat, I'm sorry we didn't get the orb guys, because there's nothing to do but pursue, and they said they're going to Taco Bell, yes, let's go there, alright, let's see what's up with Price though, oh, uh, he's in a wheelchair. Don't look at me like that. 
It's hard being elderly, medical bills, and... Well, do you think it's easy being in a wheelchair? I did what I had to do to get the money, okay? Wow. Alright, Price. I guess the price was not right. This guy is struggling to pay his old man medical bills. That kind of sucks for him and for just old people in general. Anyway, let's get out of this rocket hideout. I What is going on? Did I go the wrong door? Alright, let's try the other door. Go, go down here and let's try this one. Maybe there's like a... Super secret item? Yep, I thought so. <gasps> DMO6 Toxic! Wow, I totally don't have enough of these already. Wait, what is that? Oh, I guess that's the place where the Voltorbs used to be. Or the Electrodes or whatever. That place is uh, not no longer existent. So, I guess we're heading off to the Bell Tower. I really hope there's no uh, Radio Tower shenanigans in this game. Because, man, Radio Tower was always really... Probably my least favorite part of second generation games. I just... Uh, and Silph Co. too, in like first generation, I hate Silph Co. It's just really just a hassle to go through, and I don't think anyone really enjoys it, so I don't know. Panel has been ripped out, the door cannot be opened! So we can't get into the area with all the electrodes, I mean they seem to be gone anyway, so doesn't really matter. Alright, let's just get out of here, it's taken us a while, I think now that that guy is gone we can go and get this item down here. And thankfully there's no Pokemon in this area, which is good, because... I don't want to run into any wild guys. Alright, so here's a rare candy. And uh, I guess we'll go off to the bell tower. We gotta use a little teleporty pad. I might just heal up uh, before then though, so I don't know. I'll see you guys at the bell tower. Ooh, spooky lavender town music. Ah, what is going on? Ooh, I wonder what's in here. Do we ever go in here? Ever since the Brass Tower was rebuilt, the city has increased security on both towers. None may enter the Brass Tower. Alright, well, I guess we're going straight to the taco one. Or, well, the, the bell. The bell taco. Isn't that a thing? The nachos bell grande? The bell taco grande? I don't really know, man. Let's go to the bell tower. <gasps> it's the bell chime trail. There's no music. Whoa! Lots of Pokemon battling. It's crazy. Skarmory. Go on. We'll hold them off. And we got Zangus. Skarmory versus Zangoose. That, that feels like something I've seen before. Like maybe two YouTube channels that do Pokemon. You know, Skarmory and Zangoose? It's a little coincidental there. Kind of funny. All right, let's head into the Bell Tower. I'll leave you guys to figure out who I'm talking about there. I'm so happy that the tower was unharmed. That's, uh, I mean, you know, you've got a bunch of evil men inside your tower. I would be pretty upset, even if it hasn't been destroyed yet. I'd still be pretty upset that I have just a bunch of random dudes in trench coats tearing up, or, well, just doing their thing in my tower. Just anyone in general being in my house would probably, I would be a little annoyed with, even if they weren't destroying it, you know? You still have just random guys in trench coats, and, and girls, too. Let's not forget there's some girls. Look at that, like that one. It's a girl. I don't know what she's, that a trench coat under, like, some yoga pants, or, like, a, like a onesie. Like an overall onesie? I don't really know what's going on, man. Team Fusion has got a weird sense of style. If I'd have to say which evil team has the best style, hmm, let's think about that, actually. I'll leave that as a common question to you guys. Which evil team in Pokemon games do you think has the the best style? I mean, Team Galactic has got the blue hair with the blue wigs and the, the crazy, you know. I don't really know, man. They're just, I think they're one of my favorites, at least, because I've always liked what the way the bosses look. Like, they all have different hair. Um, Team Flare was pretty crazy. I mean, they were all about being fashionable, though, so I guess that was kind of their thing, so that's probably going to be a lot of people's pick for that one, but let me know in the comments which one you think is the most fashionable evil team in Pokemon. Um, I personally would say Galactic. I mean, Rocket and... Uh, what's the third gen one? I mean, Aqua and Magma were kind of cool, you know? They've got the whole water and land thing going on even though magma was always kind of fire but they really just want to expand landmass so i don't know that was always kind of strange to me that's a minor detail though but i'd have to say for mine it's definitely galactic uh what are the other ones what if fifth gen team plasma eh, i don't know team plasma was had that little medieval thing going and then in you know they had like the uh the crazy lightsaber medieval weapons which is kind of cool but uh i'd have to say galactic just because i like the way the bosses look and how they were all called like saturn jupiter Mars, Neptune, there wasn't a Neptune, but, you know, they, I think the other ones were existent. At least Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and, like, Charon, and then Cyrus, you know, he was just, he, he's, like, he's a, he's not a conformist. He wants to have his own identity. He doesn't want to be known as just a planet 
which I guess doesn't really make sense because, you know, if you wanted to be special, you, you'd name yourself after a planet instead of just taking your, the parent, the name your parents gave you. I can't talk, man. Okay, let's head through this maze. Um, doesn't seem to be as mazy as normal. I am pretty mazy, though, and by mazy, I mean nasally, which is really annoying because I seem to get sick really often now, and I didn't used to get sick very often when I was, like, younger, which is strange. Maybe my immune system is died because I don't eat healthy at all. So it's probably why. Who really knows though? I mean, that makes a lot of sense actually. So I probably do know what's going on. Anyway, um, let's see if we can figure out this maze here. Let's just go up this ladder or stairs or whatever you want to call it. Probably stairs, but I'm just going to call them ladders because I want to and because I still don't know where we're going. Oh boy. Okay. So let's try over. Oh, all right. I messed it up again. Ah, Okay, let's try going down this way. I think this might be the correct path. I can never be 100% certain, though. Um, I mean, both of these seem to lead over here, so I really hope this was the right way. If not, okay, I guess it's not the right way, but I think we're on to something here. Let's try one more time. Go up here and down that way again, but this time we're going to go this way. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Yeah, this is the only stairs we haven't been to yet. And it is correct. Hello, girl. I want to battle you just for the sole sake of getting more EXP because everybody loves EXP and you want to endure my attack, but I'm okay with that because I got quick attack and I'm coming back to attack you with my flamethrower now. I'm dead. All right. Good job. You tried. I tried to rap. I suck at rapping though. And you're going to detect. That's okay. Not better than protect because you're going to get hit with my wrecked total attack. It's called Earthquake. Man, I am really bad at rapping. Uh, I need some some coaching, some rap lessons from Shofu or something. We'll see. Hint. Anyway, uh, let's see where we gotta go to next. Looks like now we have teleporting pads. My favorite puzzle in Pokemon games are the teleporting pads. We all know how fun these were for like Twitch Plays Pokemon and pretty much any time there are these kinds of puzzles in Pokemon games, I always seem to struggle in them. I don't really know why they're, they're pretty easy and usually, you know, at least for this kind of thing, they're the same puzzle every time. So I don't really know why I struggle with them. I just do because I'm dumb and I guess I don't really pay a lot of attention. And apparently uh, someone in the comments pointed out that I have really bad short term memory and I never really thought about it that way. But I'm pretty sure they're right because anytime I let's play, you know, in my recent videos, at least I seem so distracted with uh, commentating the videos that I have really, really bad short-term memory and I like forget what I was just reading and I don't know man it really sucks actually it's kind of a dilemma ever since that poison person pointed it out though I kind of keep noticing it more and more in myself which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because I guess it's good that I know it now because I'll try and remember things but it might be bad because I think it's actually true like I might have that at least when I'm recording though then again I keep losing stuff huh this is not good yeah, I don't know. Like yesterday I was looking for something and then I, I literally put it down on the counter and then I started looking for it and I'm like, where did I put this? And it was literally right in front of my face and I had just placed it there a couple of seconds ago, but I'd already forgotten and I guess maybe that's not short term memory. I'm pretty sure it is though, but all right, whatever. I'm going to try to remember stuff and hopefully that goes well for me because it would be pretty helpful to remember things not only for Pokemon recording games and stuff, but just in life in general as you see. I'm losing my mind here. That's not good. So, let's, uh, I think we're almost through the bell tower. We've been here for like a half hour, I feel, but it's actually only been a couple of minutes. It's just that it's kind of annoying because I think I've been through this area. Like, how many playthroughs have I done where we've actually gone through the Johto region? I have gone through this bell tower quite a few times ever since I started YouTube. But hey, we made it to the top and here is Regina. To represent the lightning that struck the tower, the thunder orb, to represent the flames that engulfed the tower, the volcano orb, and to represent the rain that extinguished the blaze, the aurora orb. Aurora? So it's thunder, fire, and ice? I guess you know the three legendary birds. I have arranged them. Come, ho ho! What about Lugia? I thought Lugia controlled the three legendary birds, not freaking ho ho. I have heeded your call, Regina, but I have seen into your heart. And I know it is not pure. Return the orbs and leave in peace. Don't tell me what to do. The orbs have been arranged, so now you belong to me. Okay, so is Regina fighting him or am I fighting? Alright, I guess 
No one's fighting him. That's... Oh, no, it is her. She just doesn't have a sprite. So go, Absol. We're gonna watch this battle, guys. I'm literally doing nothing. But he's got that false swipe. Is it gonna be the one-shot kill? No. Okay, I think we're gonna be here for a while. Is she gonna... She's gonna lose? What? What is happening? Why did... Why did she bring... What? She... She's gonna try to catch it in a Pokeball. Okay, then. I mean, good luck with that. Is she... Are you kidding me? You're serious. You just caught the legendary bird that took you three mystical orbs to summon in a freaking Pokeball. Why? 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 Why couldn't you just give her a Master Ball? Like, you literally went through all this trouble to show this event of her taking all three orbs and then putting them in place to summon this mythical beast and then she just catches it in a freaking Pokeball? Like, no, it doesn't work that way, man. A beast that mythical and majestic should not be caught in a Pokeball on the first try. Not even half below half HP. All right, whatever. Now that I have it, it's time to deal with our little spectator. Oh yes, I knew you were watching the whole time. You can spread the story of how I, Regina, captured Ho-Oh. But not without a little revenge. You can't beat me with a legendary on my side. All right, so we got one more battle for this episode before it ends. And seriously, look at Regina. Come on, girl, you can do better than Pius. That guy's, that guy's not that. All right, we're not gonna talk about this. Fire and flying, I'm pretty sure for Ho-Oh, so we're gonna go for some little surfing action. I always confuse Ho-Oh, cause I'm like, I remember when Talonflame, when I got Talonflame, I was like, man, there's not that many fire flying birds. And then it's only because the only two fire flying birds are actually legendaries with those being Moltres and Ho-Oh. So I kind of forget Ho-Oh's typing cause it's not a legendary I catch very often, especially because Whenever I play the second generation games, I tend to go for Crystal or Silver. And I don't know why I always like Lugia more, so I always go for Lugia. Um, I also got Soul Silver when that came out, so I don't know. Never really think too much about Ho-Oh. There's a lot of legendaries in Pokemon, and there's a lot of them that I just kind of don't think of that often. Mostly maybe because Ho-Oh looks like a giant turkey. That's just my opinion, but I mean, it's always kind of looked like a giant flaming turkey to me, so... Zoroark, get out there and show me your moves. And by that, I mean die to my superpower. I think in one hit. Yeah, good job, Simba. Man, Simba's got some ridiculous attack stat. And it kind of sucks that there's no, like, uh, bolt tackle in this game because that would be doing crazy damage. All right, Absol is her last Pokemon. I'm okay with that. I'm pretty sure we're going to take this guy out too. Even though we got the, the attack lowering twice. There we go. See you later. And level 62. We beat Regina. Even with a legendary by my side, she is still lost because she doesn't have the real bond of a Pokemon trainer. You don't have it, Regina. You just, you can't do it. Why must the forces of good always defeat us? Or perhaps it's because you're strong. You're not the champion for nothing. Hey, it's her son and also Pius. Stop this at once, Regina. It is against Arceus' will to capture a legendary Pokemon. All right. I, I can't say I really care that much anymore about what's going on here, so... Oh, no, she's gonna fly away. This is not the last time I've seen Regina. I will search for her no matter what. If she refuses to return to the right path, I will force her into it myself. However I can. Ooh, he's gonna force himself into her. Well, I think that's as good a time as any to finalize this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And uh, next time... I guess we'll chase after them, wherever it is they've gone. See you all then.